Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Kutuma TV. First up, I need to tell you what's on my lips. And it is a matte combo today, consisting of Max Whirl in the lip pencil, which is the kind of more mauve plummy colour. And then, of course, my Chanel Ultra Matte Velvet Lipstick. And this is in the Eternal 118. Why do I feel like I've mixed up the cases? Yep, Eternal 118, which is this beautiful kind of mauve colour. And then, ding, on my nails, we are having a white moment. We are having a white moment. Love it. These are my jelly tips. If you follow my channel, I use Kira Sky's, Kira Sky's jelly tip system, uh, which you can buy the whole pack. I will link it below. This is the Chanel 711 Pure White. It's gorgeous. It is opaque in two coats. I will tell you a tip about Chanel nail polish. It looks like you just turn the top. You'll crack it if you do that. You have to take the lid off and then there is screw top like so and you apply your polish that way. But don't try and turn it. Rookie mistake. You guys really seem to like this last time where I traded out my current handbag to what I want to use next. So we went from my Birkin 30, which is behind me, to this guy. How long ago was that now? A week and a half? Two weeks, I think? Two weeks? I am not gonna lie. There were a couple of moments where because I'm in janky nail heaven between trying to get them off or get new ones on or, you know, file them down or one pops off, it's my raw nail, I got a hung nail. I, I freaked out a few times where I thought I was gonna scratch the bag. So there was a moment where I was kind of like, eh! But other than that, it's been really good. Uh, I've watched where I put it down. I think there was only one kind of incident where it was in Will's car, because I was changing over cars, and he had put it down on its face and stacked his filer folders on top of it, and I was just shook to the core. But other than that, it held everything I needed perfectly. I didn't really add or take anything away. But I'm gonna tilt the camera down and we're gonna trade this bad boy out. So here it is in all its glory. I have honestly enjoyed using this so much. The little top handle is fantastic. I will get into a review about it and I will tell you further um, sort of beliefs on these top handles, whether they come with the bag or I know people are selling them and you can clip them in. I do have an opinion about them, of course. Uh, so I will talk about that later when I review it. However, I'm just in love with it. Like, so in love. Already was looking at like other colors, which we can't, no, we're, we're stopping here. This is what we had in it. We packed it together. Of course, we had our smorga bag organizer, so it was absolutely perfect. I, uh, my Celine uh, Andrews were fantastic in my little Chanel pouch here. That worked fine. The layout is still similar. The only thing I added, and this was only after I went to the pharmacy the other day, was a quick on-the-go uh, spray. Um, antibacterial spray just because it was far easier with the kids so I added that but we just had our Dior glow balm my uh, Apple AirPods in the little mousy from Louis Vuitton I had my zip card case from Chanel which I adore this as a wallet it worked just perfectly I used as a catch-all my uh, O mini O case, um, which again was fantastic. It held everything, even if I had to add extra things, it was fine. And then in the back two pockets were my key situation, which was my four key from Louis Vuitton, keyless car key on my uh, Louis Vuitton little dragon strap there. And that was it. And it just, look, it was perfection. Again, as I said in, in the first one of this video, packing this bag is that if anything you are considering, oh look a hair tie, that's always a bonus in life. If ever you are considering a bag organizer, I'm gonna go further into it in my next Samorga video where I'm gonna be talking all things Samorga. I'm gonna go into it further, but if you are considering them and it was just purely for an organizer, please realize these protect your bag, okay? 
absolutely 100% protect your bag. Keep it shape, keep it structure. Because the strap is quite heavy, I don't particularly want to leave it hanging out. And I just throw it back in there like that. And then I put uh, the stuffing that it came with back in the organizer, leaving the organizer in there and then just shut the lid like so. So it just threads down on the sides perfectly. And then just pop that on my shelf like that. And that's how I store it. Okay, we have traded out our items and the bag we are trading to. I'm gonna say right now, if you have still been considering this bag, okay, whether in your country there's a wait list, whether it comes up on the website, whether an SA can, you know, order it on client services for you or not, still do it. <laughs> Still be in love with the idea even though, you know, ideas of cracking and canvas and blah 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 and melting and all that crap, just still do it, okay? Because it's still the most extraordinary <laughs> bag and I just, I've been through the ringer with it so I still believe in it. This is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the plain version. So the plain monogram version, current version non-glazing issues apparently, non-cracking apparently. Here's its strap. I am gonna show you some strap options because we have strap options. It is your famous tri-pocket bag with the zipper pocket on the back. I know straight away this will hold my phone. I didn't show you my phone because it wasn't in my Chanel 19, but I had changed out my case back to my marble case and I know straight away that'll go in the back. So we have traded out. <laughs> I can't, I can't not stop. I can't not stop. I can't stop thinking about this little guy. I did have another option. It is here. I was going to do like, this is what I would go through in my head. Like right now, if I was trading out, I'd be like, do I want to use my toiletry 15? Uh, you know, it's wipeable. It holds a little bit more than uh, a mini pochette. What do I want to do? But this guy, this, this is just too much, okay? It's too cute. I'm obsessed with it. It's new, it's a newbie. So I just actually put from my zip, my mini zip, ugh, whatever it's called, my mini O case, I just put back in my double facets mirror. You guys are going crazy for this. I tell you, I link it below. You're like writing to me going, what, how did I not know about this? It's 100% worth whatever it is in your country. I think it's like $60 or $40 here, it's worth it. So that's the new hand sanitizer and my Dior lip balm. That random hair tie went in there. And uh, yeah, that's going back in as well as two lips, two lippies, two lip glosses. I'm obsessed with this, okay? It is just the clear gloss, 814. Um, it's got a little bit of glitters in it, but it's the Chanel Rouge Coco in the clear. And this is my Forever 119, which is just a little bit like my lips, but better. It's beautiful. I made Jen buy this Gen G. I made her buy it in California. <laughs> I forced her. So that is our mini pochette. I will show you that even if this was full, it still fits. The 19 fits in here perfectly. Um, and you've still got room for other things around it, even if it was packed. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that the 15, toiletry 15 is great. What I do with it is I put all of my like needs in the middle pocket. I know straight away I will need my AirPods in my mousy. They can go next to it in the middle pocket. Because with this bag, what I do, and this is the wallet of choice we changed out to, I want to have a moment to say I have been strongly, <laughs> strongly contemplating a full zippy wallet. I think it's so iconic. I've never got one. I've I don't even think I've held one. I don't even think I picked one up in the store. Uh, and this was the original flat lay zippy compact wallet. So this, and again, which I always say, I have no idea why they discontinued it to be flat lay because it's amazing. You just open it up, you see everything. I laid out as bank cards, most use debit cards, credit card. Then I laid out as insurance and most use points cards. 
it's the most phenomenal wallet. I have an old school review on it. I can link it here. But I have been contemplating a monogram zippy wallet. Plain zippy wallet. Let me know if you have one. Let me know your thoughts. I always put my wallet of choice in a pochette Matisse in the front pocket. And that is because it is the best access. So when you boom, open it, you can just get your wallet out and pay at the shops or whatever and put it back in. You don't have to fuss if it's under something or at the back or anything like that. You don't have to fuss and pull things out. Changed my sunnies out to my Gucci cat eyes with just the plain GG on the back. I'm contemplating putting my car key in the back pocket, but for now I'll put it in the actual interior back pocket like that. But if it wasn't in here, it would be in the back zipper here with like not necessarily with my phone, but it would be in here full time so I know where it is. And then my 4K, which I still can't trade out. I just love it. I can't, I can't trade out from it. Okay, guys? So that's going to sit there. We'll put the sunnies just in the middle compartment on top. It is a Louis Vuitton party, predominantly monogram, except for the Zippy Compact Wallet. And that is what it's gonna look like for this bag, you guys, for this trade out. It's just really about moving it around and sort of seeing how you feel. Strap wise, this is my Pochette Matisse strap. It is the softest one I have had out of all of my Pochette Matisses that I've been through. If you follow my channel, it's many. This is the softest one, meaning the Pochette Matisse, like, you know, the Montaigne's and some of the other bags are made of canvas only. So it's not as if it's leather lined on the back, it's canvas on canvas. So it's really stiff. And this one is super stiff. Even though it's the softest I've ever had, it's still super stiff. Is it enjoyable to have on the bag? Eh, kind of, not really. Uh, I do okay with it if I've straightened it out. It tends to coil very easily like that. So, be and being the width, I mean, it's comfortable because it's thinner and then you've got your adjustments and it's great. But I tend to get this bad boy out because I'm so obsessed with, with reverse monogram now. <clears throat> it took a while, but now I am that I picked this guy up, which is like the guitar strap in reverse monogram with the black cowhide leather on the back. And it is just beautiful. And so this, I tend to know straight away if I'm gonna have my Poche Matisse, I'll put this strap on it. I will link her Instagram shop below, but Miss Everly, uh, Happily Everly After, Everly is her daughter's name, sent me and gifted me the khaki webbing strap from the multi pochette. Look at it on this bag. Can you just like, this is on its shortest setting, but is that not just amazing? It goes with the pochette Matisse so nicely. And yeah, isn't that just so, so gorgeous? Okay, here it is. Look, would you just look at this strap? How beautiful is this strap with this bag? It's something about the monogram against the khaki. It is so gorgeous. And on the pochette Matisse as well, and then all the hardware is just so beautiful and chunky. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I am so happy with that. Doesn't that look fab? So that is the bag I'm going to be carrying around with me. And this strap, how cute. It's like a whole new bag just by the strap. So that is my trade out. Thank you so much for watching guys. I know that you're leaving comments below this saying that you enjoy this video and I'm so excited about that. So, so just quickly on the end here, I want to tell you about my Instagram. Okay, it's changed. It's completely changed. It is a crazy time in the world. The world is literally on fire. There are so many terrible things happening out there and I'm sitting here as an influencer, as a YouTuber, as a blah, 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 just going, I can't take it anymore. I'm so sick and bored of Instagram. I'm so bored. I'm so bored of all of it. And I just sit and look at my dumb profile and I'm like, 
it's so boring. Everything, everyone is like this. Everything is like this. Every Instagram, ma 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 ma, bikini shot, all this type of crap. I'm over it. So, <laughs> what I want to do is reinvent myself. And how am I going to do that? By giving things away. Okay. It is my number. I've said it before. On my channel is my number one favorite favorite thing to do is to give this stuff away to you guys. It really is. And I am going to do that. My first post that went up is this guy and I'm giving it away. It is the monogram mouse key charm. It is the monogram mouse Louis Vuitton key charm. I picked this up in Melbourne. I did not use it. It sat in the bag and I turned around and looked at it along with my cat, my AirPod ears, which I am going to give away. And I just said, I'm just giving stuff away on Instagram now. That is what my page essentially is going to become. Okay. Every thousand followers, I have to do something because you have to for guidelines. You can't just give stuff like you need to have submissions, if that makes sense. So every thousand followers on that account, I'm giving stuff away. I'm just doing it. I, I want to give back. I'm, I'm just over it. Instagram's so boring. I don't, I don't, I want to reinvent myself. So that is what I'm doing. If you don't have an Instagram account, I suggest you get one and follow me. Even if you're not active, just get an Instagram account and follow me because that is where I'm doing it. That is what my account is now. I'm linking it here. I am linking it below. I am putting it everywhere. That is what's happening. Every thousand followers, I'm giving away Louis Vuitton. Who knows what it's going to be? I'm just going to keep giving it away, okay? And there's no end date in sight because I'm just over it. It's so boring out there. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. I know you're saying you enjoy them. And if you are, please go ahead and give me a like. It's reminding you of like old school Jerusha, which is so great. It's just not on the floor. So if you're enjoying them, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, there is a button below, guys. I would super, super appreciate this. This is the content I make. This is what I have been making for 10 years on YouTube, 10 years, okay, a long ass time, a decade. So please, if you would like to see more, click and subscribe, that would be fantastic. I hope everybody is doing really well out there, guys. Please stay safe. I will see you in my next video. Take care, peace.